Watch this video if you have a Restream account and you want to learn how to live stream using your Restream Studio directly into Instagram in portrait mode. If you haven't got Restream, there's a link below this video for you to sign up. Now, I've already showed you how to use a different software to do this, but I also use Restream to live stream and I wanted to show you how you could do it from Restream. So the first thing you need to do is log into your Restream account. Now, I would suggest that when you click Edit Destination and you add a channel, it's going to ask you to log into Instagram. So go ahead and click Go into Instagram. Now it's going to ask you for your username, but it's going to ask you for RTMP URL and the stream key. And I know that that's going to freak some of you out. So what I want you to do first of all is put in your username and then I want you to jump over to Instagram. Now you do have to have a professional account on Instagram, so it's any account other than a personal profile. And the first thing you need to do is go to your profile, which is what I've done already, and you need to click the create button. Now you need to go to live video and add a title. Now you can choose two different audiences and I suggest you do a practice run before you go live just so that you know what the process is like. I'm gonna do a practice for the purpose of this recording but once you've done your practice run, go ahead and do exactly what we're doing now but click the public one. So go ahead and click practice. Now click next and it's going to give you that information that we saw over here on Restream. So it's asking for the RTMP URL. So we come back to Instagram and that's actually called the stream URL, okay? So copy that and go back to Restream and type that in or paste that into that area. Then go back to Instagram, copy the stream key, hop back to Restream and paste that in there as well. Now add the channel. So what we've done now is we've added Instagram to our Restream account as a destination. So I'm just gonna turn off the other ones because I want to now close this down and stream with the studio. So go ahead and click stream with studio. That's going to open up your studio for you. Again, your camera and your audio should be connected if you're used to using Restream. <clears throat> excuse me, if you're new to Restream, then you do need to connect your camera by doing the video and the audio and your virtual background if you want. Once you're happy, write your name in here and click enter studio. Now you're not going live, we're just going into the studio at the moment. So now we're in the studio, you can see up here that I have a destination open. If I click it, we can go in and edit the destination. So you could come in here first if you wanted to and then add your destination, but I suggest you do it the way we just done it. Close that down. Now, you can see that we have two options here. We have a portrait orientation or the landscape, which is what you see. So this is where Restream stands aside from the previous software that I've showed you how to use because I can now go into portrait. And by default, it sits you here. But if you click the one where you've got an interview, it places you in the center. Now I suggest that you sit in the center of your where your camera is. Don't sort of sit over to the sides or anything like that. Sit in the center. You might need to move things around on your desk, maybe move your microphone a bit closer. So now we're ready. So when we come over to our Instagram account, what we need to do is we need to preview the stream. So in order for us to preview the stream, we click on the go live option inside of Restream and that's going to connect us to our Instagram account. So we're gonna come over to our Instagram account and we're gonna wait for the preview to show up before we click the go live option. There it is. Now, before you go live, there is something you need to do with your Instagram tab. Now, I've already muted the tab that my Instagram is on. Now, the reason for this is because if you unmute it, 
you'll hear your audio and I'll show you as an example. Now the reason for this is because if you unmute it, you'll hear your audio and I'll show you as an example. So you see, because we need to keep the restream open and the Instagram open, you are going to get the audio coming through. So you do need to switch off the audio on your Instagram tab. Now I'm on a Mac, so what I did is I right clicked my mouse and I muted the site. It will stay muted now every time you go to Instagram. So you might need to remember to unmute it once you've finished. Now that you've got your preview, you can go live. So go ahead and click go live and you are going to go live into your Instagram account. Now I'm practicing, remember, I have the practice here. But when you are going live normally, you will get comments come up in here and you will be able to reply to them by just writing in the window. I have noticed that there is an error that it actually writes it backwards. So I'm sure that Instagram will be working on that because the writing is the wrong way around. Come back over to your Restream Studio and if you have anything that you might want to show, so for instance, if you have any captions that you want to show, say like if I showed any questions, that will also show up on your Instagram account. It does sometimes take a bit of time for your Instagram stream to catch up with your Restream screen. And as you can see, the question one has come in. That's all you have to do in order for you to go live using your Restream Studio in portrait mode on Instagram. And portrait mode is what we really want to be live streaming in, especially as the dimension for Instagram is a mobile phone. Now, when you want to end your live stream, I suggest you end it first in your Instagram account. So click end live video on your Instagram account, hop over to your restream and it will tell your restream that it's ended the stream. Otherwise, you can click end stream and end the stream like you would normally. Now, of course, you can then go to your dashboard inside of your restream studio schedule your stream to go live again or download it for editing. My name is Anita Wong. I hope you've enjoyed this video showing you how to use your Restream live streaming stu studio software to live stream into your Instagram account in portrait mode. So you are going to be looking exactly the same in Instagram as you do if you'd gone natively through the Instagram app. So if you've enjoyed this video, do give me the thumbs up. And of course, if you want to learn more about using a live streaming tool for your business, then smash that subscribe because I'd love for you to come back to my channel. If you know anyone that would benefit from this video, do feel free to share it. And if you aren't using Restream and you want to live stream to Instagram Live using the portrait mode, then check out my link below this video where you can go to Restream and sign up. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.